evaluate each trigonomic expression that that our um, our argument is in degrees and I'm going to assume that you don't have the unit circle memorized and so this is a good way to kind of get to know your unit circle better we know that 210 degrees is 180 plus 30 more so it's uh, 30 degrees down in here all right, now I'm going to make this a little bigger. Sorry, let me make this a little bigger. So I'm going to go out a little more. And our radius is going to be 1, so 210 will be about there. So there's your angle, 210 degrees. Now, I'm going to draw a triangle here, from the origin here, right here. Now... You should know by now that you're using only a few numbers when you're doing this. You're either using one half, depending on the quadrant, but using one half, or using the square root of 3 over 2, or square root of 2 over 2, or 1 and zeros. That's basically the only numbers you really need to know. Now, since we're in quadrant 3, I know the shorter side here is going to be the one half, because one half is smaller, so that's going to be negative one half. And my longer side is going to be the negative square root of 3 over 2. And this is your angle here. So we're going to be looking at this angle here. And sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So our radius is 1. So basically, all you have to do is look at your triangles and know that. And also just know that sine is your vertical, is your y. Sine of any angle is your y. Cosine of your angle is your x. So if you look at it that way, it's just think vertical and horizontal. All right, so that's just going to be negative one half. And I didn't look at my circle. I just kind of knew these numbers, and I drew a little triangle there. Okay, the next one, we have to add angles. So first we have cosine of 150. So 150 is um, 30 short of 180 so it's right about there just sketching it so that's 150 degrees I'm going to draw the little triangle here like that that's how you draw the triangle okay and I know that my Y is positive here and my X is negative my shorter side is the one half Cosine is your x. My, your x is the horizontal, since this is quadrant 2. So that's going to be negative square root of 3 over 2. Now, 240, do that in green, um, is 30 shy of 270. So you just go 30 shy of 270, and you draw that. All right, now we're going to draw the triangle, and I have to, I'm going to have to erase this real quick. So, because it's getting messy. If I draw a triangle up from here, now I'm looking at this triangle. I probably should have done it two separate things. This is the longer side, which is your y. The longer side is square root of 3 over 2, but since it's in quadrant 3, it's negative square root of 3 over 2. Okay, so that's, we don't even need to, the x would be uh, negative 1 half. But we don't need to know that. We just need to know our sine, which is your vertical part. So that's going to be minus a square root of 3 over 2. So that's going to be minus 2 square root of 3 over 2, because there's two of them. And you cancel out the 2s, and you're just going to get negative square root of 3. Okay, the next one is tan of uh, 135. So I know that 135 is right there. That's a 45 degree angle. We draw down to the x axis. So you know on the 45 ones, these two sides are going to be square root of 2 over 2. And since this is quadrant 2, our x is negative. Okay? 
and we know tan is your y over x. So when you divide these, this is your y, divide it by your x, or your vertical, divide it by your horizontal. You divide those two, you get negative 1, because they're the same numbers. So this is negative 1, and then sine of 90, so I'm going to draw that here, there's 90. So this point here with the radius being 1, my, uh, my, um, excuse me, my x is 0 and my y is 1. And sine is your y. Remember, sine of theta equals your y. So your y is 1. So this equals 1. So negative 1 plus 1 equals 0. And cotan of negative 45. So we're going clockwise here. There's your angle. That's a 45. Um, I'll just draw a triangle here. So basically, you know that your y is negative in quadrant 4, but your x here is positive. That's square root of 2 over 2, and this is 1. And cotan is x over y. You definitely need to know your ratios here. And when you divide those two, you're going to get negative 1. Because one's positive, one's negative, and they're the same numbers. The last one, we have secant of 360. So 360 is right here. And with the radius being 1, um, this point's 1, 0. Um, secant equals... Uh, r over um, your x, that's cosine. So your radius is 1, your x is 1, so it equals 1. And then 360 and 0 are coterminal angles, so we're right back to here again on this one. Tan of 0, remember tan um, is y over x. So our y is 0. So we get uh, 0 over 1, that equals 0. So basically we have 1 plus 0 equals 1. And that's all. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.